In traditional models, like these great ones from Greg Corbett, high sulfidation and low sulfidation systems are usually put into completely separate environments. But it's important to note that there are exceptions. That hill over there is a high sulfidation epithermal system. The big ridge is made of massive and buggy silica and it has all the other characteristics that you normally expect in a high sulfidation system. And this vein here has all the textures that you normally associate with low sulfidation systems, just 500 meters away. This piece here is mostly saccharoidal textured quartz in between some beautifully preserved bladed carbonate replacement texture. That combination indicates somewhere in the upper parts of the boiling zone in a low sulfidation epithermal system. And here from a few hundred meters along the same structure is a piece of crustiform banded quartz, typical of the kind of texture you see in mineralized low sulfidation epithermal veins. So now I'm about three kilometers away on another high sulfidation system. Those low hills behind me there are a big litha cap of silica alunite alteration. And out here on the flats, just a few hundred meters away, is another beautiful low sulfidation epithermal vein. It's got absolutely beautiful crustiform, coliform banded textures, exactly what you find in typical low sulfidation vein systems. Now there's a little bit of question about the relative timing of this vein versus the high sulfidation alteration back there, but the coincidence of position just can't be ignored. So if you're working in a high sulfidation epithermal system, don't ignore the possibility that there could be low sulfidation systems with equally good or sometimes better mineralization out on the shoulders of where you're looking. This is another video in the series of field craft for geologists. This is the edited highlights version for YouTube. If you'd like to see the full video, go to the link in the description below. And for less than the price of a short course on epithermal systems, you'll get the full version of this video, all the other videos in the Fieldcraft series, and anything else I shoot as I find interesting things in the field.